Seriously, this is so annoying. I'm watching TV for the last few weeks and just every single day I watch it. I'm watching, I don't know, a police film. And guess what the police officer is called? Martin. I watch fucking news and, and someone comes up and talks and guess who they're talking to? A Martin. And guess what? And then I watch, a, a, what's it, a, a doctor vet thing. And then someone brings in a, a uh, a dog that's called Martin, and then I, and then they go to um, a um, uh, what's it, a, a donkey shelter, and then the, the doctors are Martin, and then and then I watch this program about someone killing people, and he's killed someone called Anne Martin, and then there's this potential other person who he's killed called Peter, and then and there's another one called Martin, and just like fucking hell, why am I hearing this name every day? Every day I keep being like, okay, there's another Martin. Should I make this video and just talk about how many times I hear the Martin? And then I, I don't know how many times I've, I've lost count on how many times I've heard that, that name today. And it's just, it, it's driving me insane. It's driving me insane. But I've got a nice new dress. I like buying lots of shit, lots of stuff on eBay. I bought a yellow dress the other day, but it wasn't quite as nice. This is actually, it actually looks like a normal yellow in, in this, but it actually looks like a bright, luminous yellow in the eye. It's actually really strange. That colour... And this colour are very different colours. This is like almost like a really vibrant, bright yellow, whereas that colour just looks like a normal yellow. But anyway, um, my neighbour's also giving me some plants. See these two little the trees there, and yeah, the two trees there, and then one there. And the neighbour next door, she was cutting down the rose bush again, and just like the second time, she did it a few months ago. She started doing that. She's only been in the house for like three months. And there's, there was like five 70 year old rose bushes in her garden and she like cut massively four of them. And then there's this other one that she like almost destroyed basically. And I think there was a few others that, that have completely gone. I don't, I don't even know, can't remember how many rose bushes there were, but the whole garden was lovely, full of roses. It was amazing. Had a gardener every week and she just got rid of them. She said they're too old. She doesn't like things that are old. The good, it's good to have rose bushes that are old. Anyway, she chopped it down and it kind of started growing up again and it had like 20 30 buds on it and then she was just like oh do you want to have it i'm taking it down now i was like what you should be glad that it didn't die the first time and so yeah we spent ages digging it up i've cut my finger as you can see i've scraped it, i don't know how um and yeah i've put i replanted it in my garden but yeah all the 20 buds are now kind of just looking like that and it doesn't look like they're going to be popping up anytime soon i'm trying to water it massively every day for the last well it was only yesterday that i put it in they've been soggy ever since although there's the same amount of sogginess today as they were yesterday but i i think it's just a matter of time before they start completely sogging so um it's falling off or whatever the, the the one rose that they had on there is now dead but anyway at least it's planted and i'm not going to be taking it down so i don't have to worry that i'm just going to come out one day and find that it's gone because technically it's, it's already gone from her garden it's in mine so it's saved and i'm having a think about um about like what kind of sperm donor i would like and i I think I've made the decision on who I want. But the problem is he's in America and he's not coming to England for another seven months. So I, I have a bit of a wait. But um, he's he's got this picture. He's got three pictures on his page. Um, one of them, he's kind of going like that. And I, I'm really with big, big, nice arms. I'm, I'm just looking at the picture there. It looks really, really attractive. Um, and it's like a gym model basically who's so, so doing some modeling for a gym company and i don't know what kind of job he is but to be honest he, he looks freaking hot and um i was just lying on my hammock thinking oh if i had a baby on my arm like what would i rather because there are two options the two favorite out of all the people that i've seen the two favorite are the one that looks like martin or this guy and i'm just thinking you know if i had a kid on my bit on my belly and i'm sat sunbathing in the sun in, with a, a little umbrella to stop the baby from getting too hot um you know who would i prefer to know that this kid's fathered by this blonde guy who looks really fit and um has really nice arms and is blonde or a guy that looks like martin you know what i i think i'd rather choose this guy so um I, I, there's no point of going for the same as martin i might as well go for something better and i'm thinking that this is better um but i might have to wait a long time for it but I don't know. I will see if he's still interested, but he sent me a second message today. Um, you know, I don't know what it said, but it was it was still showing interest. And, you know, I'm looking at all the other different guys on the list and I'm just thinking, 
brown haired, brown haired, brown haired, and the rest of them just look like the average, the average guy. I don't want the average guy. I don't want someone who's, you know, I, I want someone who, I, I also like someone that's, you know, that looks good together. So if, if he did come to visit the child, and if we were like walking down the street together, people would be like, yeah, that's a couple, you know, that's a couple. And, you know, if I had a child with him, people would be like, yeah, of course they're the father because they look like a good couple. And I know that I would never get that with Martin because we, we, we're we not the same age. We do have nothing in common. We, we look nothing like. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that he will still be interested in seven months when he comes. Yeah. But anyway, I'm just loving this dress. And I look really good today for some reason. My hair looks a little bit more blonder 